Welcome, pioneers. I'm going to discuss a little topic here today that I often get a question on how do I know how many I need to make of something? It's a great question. You know, how many iron rods do I need? How many iron plates do I need? How many heavy modular frames do I need? What number should I make? What's the target? All really good questions. I have a method I call the pioneer first method. And the pioneer first method means that the pioneer needs things to build things. So down below in front of me, the, to, to make constructors, you need reinforced iron plate and you need cable. To make conveyor belt, you need iron plate. The, to make the conveyor belt support stands, you need iron rods and concrete. And there's a lot of other items you need. So the Pioneer needs those items automated, and that should be the first priority. So what I have in this save, and this is one of my Tier 1, 2 saves, where everything's automated in the Tiers 1 and 2, and you can download it and jumpstart into the game without setting all of this up, is that I have two constructors making iron rods, and they go into a storage container. And they're for the Pioneer. I have two constructors making iron plate. And they go straight into a storage container. They're for the Pioneer. Then in front of me, we have over here, these two assemblers to the left are making rotors. And these two assemblers to the right are making reinforced iron plate. Now, as you can see, rotors need screws and iron rods, but also... Reinforced iron plate also needs screws and plates. So I make completely separated dedicated production lines for those items. The screws required for the reinforced iron plate come from these constructors here and they are using the standard recipe so they need iron rods. It's a dedicated production line of iron rods to make a dedicated production line of screws to go over there to make the reinforced iron plate. The same with the rotors. I have dedicated screws. And then over here is modular frames. And that with the modular frames, I need iron rods and reinforced iron plate. And the reinforced iron plate needs plate and screws. So there's another dedicated production line of reinforced iron plate over there to meet the needs of two assemblers making modular frames. And then those modular frames, you can see them uh, putting along the top there. They're a bit disguised. They're about to go past the cursor now. The goal of what I'm talking about here and the key thing I'm teaching you here is the Pioneer is what comes first. The Pioneer needs items to build things. So if I, for instance, you tried to use the iron rods that I was making over there for the Pioneer and the iron plate I was making for the Pioneer for these production lines here, number one, I wouldn't have enough. And number two, I wouldn't have any iron rods and iron plates put away for the Pioneer to go and use to make all of this stuff. I follow this concept all the way through the game. So when you get to making heavy modular frames and you need modular frames, guess what? you make another modular frame production line that meets the requirements of how many heavy modular frames you want to make. How many heavy modular frames do you want to make? Generally, with any production line in the game, I will make two or three machines worth of that product. So if I need fused modular frames, it'll be two blenders worth of fused modular frames. Whatever re recipe it is in the game, Generally, that's enough for the player to have available to uh, make what they need. Because while I was off making some of these other items here, some of these production lines, I started off with the rod and plate first, and that built up quite well. And I have a nice supply of rod and plate. I rarely exhaust them. Concrete is the only one that you may invest making more of because you may lay a lot more concrete. That's entirely up to you. But remember, Pioneer comes first.
don't starve the pioneer of the materials required to build items in the game and to progress yourself through the game. And it's as simple as that. Thank you very much, and I look forward to catching up with you soon.